And our top story tonight continues to be about that NFL player. Still a lot of questions about why DeMar Hamlin just collapsed. Seemingly healthy 24-year-old. Head cardiologist for the Raiders, Dr. Alfred Danielian, talking with Brian for more about what may have happened on the field last night. Brian? Denise, thanks. Doctor, thank you for staying with us. And we talked about that heart arrhythmia that occurs when someone takes that direct hit to their chest. As we're talking off air, it really is essentially kind of a perfect storm for that type of tragic event to happen. It absolutely is, Brian. It really, there's several critical variables that have to occur at the same time. If in fact it's proven that commodial cortis that we have been talking about and it's been out there is a true cause of this, once everything else is excluded, other causes of sudden death, where it's a perfect timing during a certain part of the cycle within milliseconds of the cardiac cycle where we're vulnerable to developing these arrhythmias with a hard enough density object or trauma occurring to the chest and with the right velocity. So it's really a perfect storm that leads to this. How much does his age 24 and his premier physical conditioning help him in the state he's in right now? Uh, interestingly, it does help him. We yes. tend to see this, if this is truly the cause of his sudden uh, cardiac arrest, to see this in younger um, individuals, mostly males from our registry database that we have. And it, the, the, it's usually in those that have a developing chest wall. So the fact that he's a muscular, mm -hmm. older gentleman does help him. Now, you made an interesting point earlier about excluding with the possibility of a pre-existing condition, a heart murmur, myocarditis, some kind of lifelong heart issue. They'll just start eliminating these things one after the other? Exactly. So it is a diagnosis of exclusion to truly prove that this, you know, blunt trauma to the chest wall leading to this cardiac arrest was the cause. So there'll be variables involved, uh, echocardiographic imaging, electrocardiography, further advanced imaging testing, uh, assessing his arteries, looking for anomalies. So there'll be an extensive evaluation before we can lead to that he, diagnosis. He's currently under sedation and they are essentially cooling his brain. What is the goal there? So the goal is really to achieve hypothermia, which is cooling the body to specific temperature to allow the organs to rest and recover prior to rewarming the body with the hope that he does recover fully. We so appreciate you being here with this medical expertise and answering these very important questions. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dr. Back over now to uh, Denise, and then actually we're going to get your forecast. Let's go right to Ted now.